Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just want to thank everybody that has subscribed so far and if you haven't done so, go ahead and click the subscribe button below for a lot of cool branded stuff, personalized you know, jackets, branded merch and gifts. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. For this video, we're gonna airbrush a custom controller with the XSET logo. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is prime the plastic. I've already gone ahead and pre-sanded uh, all the areas with the uh, 320 uh, grit um, and now I'm going to put on some gloves so I don't get any oil on the plastic and I'm going to use Autoborn sealer um, to make sure that paint really sticks on there. But first I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol and wipe down the entire surface this way I know it's clean and uh, the paint really sticks on there. Before we lay down paint, I just want to show you guys the mock-up that I was provided. So it's essentially going to be a little bit of white text on the back cover and um, two different logos on the actual controller itself. The first thing that we're going to paint is the back cover. Unfortunately, it had a finish to it that we couldn't paint over it. Otherwise, I would just paint the white text over that and just call it a day but uh, we had to completely sand the entire thing. So the first thing I did was sanded that, primed it, and now we're painting the white, um, which is gonna be actually the text that's gonna be showing through. So um, I'm just gonna paint everything in uh, white, get a nice even coat, and then uh, we'll put a stencil on it and paint it black again. So it, it seems like a lot of work, um, but it's actually easier for me to do it this way. So I ended up putting down five different layers of white and I just wanted to get a nice uh, even coat and the, wa the paint itself was really watered down so I was just taking my time laying down each uh, layer and drying in between. The controller was already white uh, so now we're laying down the color of the actual logos so I'm blocking the left side because that's going to be a different, lo uh, different color. So right now I'm laying down the blue for the, the logo that's gonna be there. And I'm gonna put several layers of the blue down as well. And uh, I'm just making sure that my paint is not too thick. So a lot of layers, uh, very thin um, a paint will definitely work and look really nice. Let's get the measurements of the logo that's going to be on here. This way I can cut some vinyl and get it exactly how I wanted it to be. I only have one chance to get this right because the decal is very sticky and once I lay it down it, it really wants to stay on there so I gotta make sure it's nice and straight and even and uh, that's the only chance I get uh, to make it look perfect. All right, now let's go ahead and put the X set logo on the other side. Uh, we're gonna end up painting that in red. So I just wanna mask off the white area cause I want the background to be super white. And uh, I, we could have painted this uh, side red as well, but I was afraid I was gonna get uh, some red on the other side. So uh, we're gonna do it with a brush. Mm -hmm. 
all right and now we're gonna lay down the black this is kind of like wrapping a gift we're spraying everything in black and um, in the reveal we'll be able to see the end result so uh, this is kind of like an easy part or easy process you just kind of lay down each layer uh, individually as thin as you can and just make sure that you have everything nice and black Alright, take a look at that. How is that looking? Got him. This is always the fun part and very exciting, but it's nerve wracking at the same time because you don't know if some of the paint's gonna peel off or if it's actually gonna look the way you wanted it to be. In this case, everything looks really, really nice. Um, we're peeling the vinyl off as the black is slowly drying. This way it doesn't completely dry and then you know you try to peel it off and everything's gonna uh, wanna peel off along with the vinyl. So we're trying to do it as fast as we can while it's barely drying. Okay, so I'm just going to touch up the blue uh, logo a little bit. There's a little area where a little bit of the black kind of seep through and so I just wanted to touch that up.
even though we're painting this particular logo in a red I just wanted to make sure that the uh, the base uh, white was nice and uh, sharp so there was a little bit of black that got in there as well so I'm just going back with the regular brush with a little bit of white and making sure the base is extremely white so on the blue logo there's a little bit of a drop shadow so I'm just using a little bit of masking tape and covering one side and coming back with a little bit of black and just very very lightly uh, applying a little bit of black to get that little drop shadow All right, now it's time to reveal the text on the back of the cover. All right, we're almost to the end. Now all we have to do is color that X set logo in red and we should be good to go. guys let me know what you guys think of this controller and then also let me know what other stuff you guys want to see and uh, I have some other projects lined up here in the next few videos and uh, I'm just trying to make it different every single time so let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below all right so all the colors are done I think we are ready to gloss the entire thing and we're using uh, Painter's Touch 2X. It's not a 2K primer, but it works really, really nice. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, and there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the painting and enjoy this video. I wanna give a shout out to Johnny at Custom Controllers. Make sure to check them out. If you want any type of custom controller, hit them up and they'll hook you up. For today, that's gonna to be it for this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy for now, bye-bye.